What's up, y'all? Welcome to another edition of Coffee with Jones. How's everybody doing? I got a good friend of mine all the way from California, Mr. Let's go. Jupiter. Let's What's go. It? We taking this, we winning this mug again, man. We have a technical difficulty. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it, goddamn. We have a technical difficulty. <laughs> I mean, technology ain't what technology is, is, is trash, but yo, how you doing, bro? I'm good, man. Hey, technology, it, it can't live with it, can't live without it. You know what I'm talking about? It is, it is what it is. It is, man. It's all good. It's all good, man. We were saying in a previous joint, but we are gonna keep <laughs> it. Hey, but y'all, but for real though, man, tell everybody who you are, what you're about, what you been, what you got going on. Got it. Uh, my name is Jupiter. Uh, been singing since I was, I've been singing since I was two. So he got that crazy back. So he got, the, I was a two year old singing. I just been killing it ever since. Um, <laughs> no, I've been, I've been singing since I was two. And I only know because my, my father and my mama tell you, um, I've been writing since I was 13, like in the song. Right. Um, Man, um, right now, right now, I'm actually working on an album, bro. And um, oh snap, okay. I just recorded this song last Tuesday. <sighs> when that I gotta, be on one, drop. I gotta be on your one of your albums, bro. If not that, this one, next one. Whenever, bro. I will send you some stuff now. You ain't said nothing but a word to me. All right, shit. Send that over. I will send, it, man. I will send you the stems ASAP. Absolutely no Rocky, man. Let me tell y'all, this guy Jupiter, uh, I can say dope dancer. He's a crump dancer, dope dude. And like, you, he's one of the guys, like, I followed him. Like, like I tell people, like, I, like we've known each other the crump circuit. And I seen his first music video a few years ago. When did you drop that video? That was 2000. Rain Down was 20. 18, 17, or was it recent? 29 2020 oh you know what it was 2020 because it was right before the shutdown it was i believe so yeah covid got people covid got my mind cloud i don't even remember <laughs> what it was what but i saw that video but i've known you did music prior to that so it's like all right then I saw that I, I gotta reach out to him, but I just had to find the right song. Before I give anybody anything, I want to make sure it's the right song for that person. So it's all good, man. So when I got we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk about that later. But <laughs> tell everybody what the name is, how'd you come up with it, what does it mean? So um again, name is Jupiter. Um I spell it J V P I T R. The V is because I'm a very big fan of Method Man, not just because his name is Reggie, but <laughs> because, <laughs> but because in the the A in, in the the man part of Red Man, did I say Method Man? Or I said Red Man. He said, "Wait, who did you say?" No, he said Method. You said Method. Oh man, see, I had to get my stuff together. Red Man, I apologize. You see how fast I caught that? Um, <laughs> no, um, Red Man. I'm not just a fan because the name is Reggie, but in the man part of Red Man, the A is upside down. So that's that's kind of something that's always stuck with me. And of course, you know, everybody does the whole the V thing. And I want it to be Jupiter so bad. I was like, I feel like because you know, every every artist will tell you they go through a, a phase of names before they find the one that sticks. And Jupiter was just the name that stuck because it described me to a T. Um, it's a king planet. It is the planet of the Sagittarius. I am a Sagittarius. And because I want all of my music to be an experience, you know, I wanted the name to also feel like, okay, when I hear the name, I'm gonna listen to this music and I want the music to feel like you took me somewhere. Like, I don't want people to just listen to it. I want them to feel it. I want them to go through it. I want them to, you know what I'm saying? I want them to feel like, dang, this is this ain't just a song. This is like a movie or like an experience or like a, a drug or something. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's that's where that, all that came from. And that's how that's how it is. Um, uh, my name June. Like there's a guy who worked the division. What's his name? Paul Jeffrey or Paul? Nineteen is Paul Jeff Paul something. Nineteen eighty nine. And I saw <laughs> that. I saw that. I'm like yo, but that was before then. That was before then. I was like yo, I wanted to be a songwriter. Mm -hmm. I just want a name that 
Nobody would know what's massive. All right, Jones 88. Cool, cool. I just write that. I just keep that. But then when I start doing meals, I need a name. I need, I need something. And I said, I just take this pen now. Let me just use that. And it just stuck. And I said, I it is just one of the things. I, I, had, I wrote it, June's 88. I said, nah, I got to It was June's 1988, June's 88, June's 88. What, 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 the, what the hell do I want to be? I said, no, that's, that's <laughs> all the bullshit. Just keep the 88. That sounds great. I said, but there's 21 Savage, though. I want to be one of those number rappers. I said, Not cool. a number rapper. <laughs> <laughs> But then I'm like, all right. Oh, and then, all right, 88 sounds great. And you can shorten it either way. Be like, yo, what up, June? What up, June? What up, eight? What up, good? It's like, you can break my name down any way you want to break it down. So I'm going to keep that name. But then I saw Jupiter. I'm like, that's a dope ass name. Thank you, man. But at first, I didn't know if it was Jupiter. Like, is it Jupiter? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, nah, I ain't. There's a, I'm like, planet Jupiter. I'm like, all right, is it planet? Planet. <laughs> I okay, gotta be Jupiter. I see the planet, but then like, oh, it is Jupiter. Okay, because he spells it like how he spelled on his uh, Zoomer. All right, cool, cool, cool. But I thought it was the whole name was Planet Jupiter. He said, Nah, it ain't Planet Jupiter. It's just Jupiter. Now you tell me after I put the song. Up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, it's people. It, it is so funny. I had somebody. His name is Isaiah. Shout out to Isaiah J. He um. He actually doesn't say my name right on purpose. He knows it's Jupiter. Like sometimes he'll say Jupiter, but for the most part, he'll be like Jupiter. I'm like, you know, we're gonna fight. We're just gonna fight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like some people, man, you know. <laughs> they, That's you, like division. D V A. How he spelled, I'm like, who the hell is this guy? Cause a man. Cause the girl sent it to me years ago. I'm like, then he said like that's his name. Like that's his Bro. name. I'm like, how? it's just DVSN. Yeah, but I'm like, how? I'm like, how am I supposed to know that? <laughs> Joe, how am I supposed to? How am I supposed to know that? <laughs> because the dude like, just looked like, like how am I supposed to know that I was supposed to be the vision? How? I'm what telling I'm you, man. Dibzin. 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 <laughs> Dibson. Dibson. I'm man, telling you, man. I'm like, I get the uniqueness, but like, damn. I was like, man, I can't. I'm like, that, that's it. You know what? My brain hurts. My brain hurts. It, it was another name. I can't even remember. I'm not going to break my neck trying, but it was another name that did that to me. Because I only know my boy Josh, he introduced me to Division. And that's how I knew it was Division. I didn't stumble upon him like I do some of the other people. But he was like, oh, check this dude out. His name is Division. And then when I saw it, I was like, oh, okay. So I, I knew it was Division after seeing it because I had heard it first. But if I'd have seen it first, yeah, I'd have, yeah, I'd have, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even have got that. I'm like, DVSN. Who got the DVSN album? Division. <laughs> oh, that, that, that's his name? Y'all got, got that DVSN? Bro, you oh, you man. not gonna sit here and tell me if you walked into Best Buy and you saw that album on the table, you would have said Dipperson. You would say, DV, who is this DV? Who is I'm it? not gonna hold you. It sounded like an appliance, to be honest with you. Like, I'd be like, y'all got them DVSNs? Yeah, my Damn. homie said he just got one. That's what <laughs> I would have, to be honest with you. I I, I would have did, but if I saw the album first, then yeah, I probably would have said DVS. I wouldn't have said Dipperson. But that's just how it looked to me. It was, that's what it looks like. I'm like, because when she's saying it, like, DVS, I, 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 <laughs> but Divin, he's he's a monster though. He's a monster. That was, it'd be Damn. like that's like the, it'd be like those artists that I love to catch before they blow up. Oh yeah. yeah, it's like the weekend. Nobody I knew was rocking with that guy before he blew up. And like mm -mm. everybody's a fan. Everybody's a fan. Man. Uh, yeah, I know. The first, the first time I heard about Weekend, he was stupid underground. Like, well, not let me not say underground. I know underground sounds like don't nobody know. But when somebody first introduced me to to Weekend, he he hadn't caught the wind yet. Oh no! You feel me? The I caught this girl had did a cover of Wicked Games. I'm like, right, who is this guy? Then I saw that. Then he did Trust Issues. Like, still mm -hmm. the only one. Like, all right. 
because his voice sounded so, I can't even describe how it sounded on that original, original YouTube version of that. It sounded like mm -hmm. unmixed. It was just up there like, I do it. Mm -hmm. Then he started picking up steam. Then he took off. Then Drake co-signed on you. Know, everybody still was See? Then he That's how I felt about Miguel. Oh, yeah. I wasn't rocking with Miguel. Ah. I wasn't a Miguel fan. That I was a Miguel fan. Oh, my God. That man can do no wrong for me. He's everything to me. That All I want is you track with him and Cole. That, that sold me. That was the only song I knew. And I, yo, that Bro. Was, yo, and that was rookie Cole right there. Man, the first song I ever heard from Miguel was Vixen. And this was back on MySpace. Damn. Bro. He said MySpace. MySpace, fam. That was on my... Matter of fact, Cannon. Me and Cannon both had it on our page. Oh, that's so a little okay. Everything, bro. And then he dropped he dropped that first album a couple years later. A few years later, actually. And then he put Vixen on there. And that's when I was like, oh, I know it. This is this is Miguel. This is listen to that album. I was like, oh man, I, it's everything. Oh yeah. Then he dropped um Art Dealer Chic, and that's when Adorn had dropped. Uh, but it wasn't the whole song. It just was like like I think like two minutes of it. And then, you know, it was like a it was three art dealer sheets, but all of them had like three songs a piece. It was like a super like crazy EP series. Then he dropped Kaleidoscope and everybody caught wind of it. And I didn't really then uh I, then that dude party next door flipped um girl the tattoo. I'm like, yo, I'm like, I, I'm like, then. That made Miguel even fizzle even more. Like he, I went Man. back to that song. Like, yo, this joint is fire. Cause I never I'm heard. Telling you. Then I was like, all right, this sample is dope. Let me go hear this song. I'm like, wow, this my nigga Miguel here. Yeah. I know. I tell you, this nigga is singing. But that's how I feel about Wale. Awesome. Man. That's how I feel Wale. Anything he drops, I listen to like. I remember that back in the Nike boots days. Like, yo, this dude is fire. And everything. Come on, man. To Talk to him. Like, Talk people, to him. Like I say, people don't rock with him like that because, I mean, like, I don't know why, but he be dropping the hits. Like, anything he drops, I listen to. Like, yo, that's my guy. That's the way anybody can work with first when I make it is Wale. I tell everybody that. I'm telling you. Talk to him. Converse so, with them. <laughs> hey man, I've been putting that energy out for a while. Like, yo, I tweeted him like, yo, Wale, I gotta do something with you, man. You may not read this tweet, but I'm putting man, it out. I do that. I do that too. I, I definitely do that. Cause I who did I tell? I tweeted music and music soul child was one of my biggest influences. I tweeted him. I was like, I'm gonna work with you. Eric Roberson, I told him. Um, Mac Ayers, Neo. Oh, yeah. Um, who else? Usher. Oh, man. Uh, now that we're talking about it, I'm probably going to tweet out Jasmine Sullivan. Her, I'm going to marry her, though. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to marry that woman. Like this. He gonna marry Jasmine. He said it live on here. No, not Jasmine Sullivan. Jasmine Sullivan's gorgeous, but her. I'm gonna her. marry her. See, when you say her, when you say marry, you say Jasmine Sullivan, you said marry her all in the same sentence. Oh, okay. I know. <laughs> all right, guys, all right, cool. Damn it. Oh, okay. okay. If you do marry her, you said on this, I gotta be your best man, bro. I'm fighting whoever I gotta fight because you said it on this show. Say less. Say less. Ain't even <laughs> no fight. And who your best man? You're going to be right there. See this finger? This is you. <laughs> Trying to tell you, bro. That's it. Ain't no fight. Man, because it's like, man. Okay, what female singer do you want to work with? I mean, the first female, they say, Jupe, you got the, the, the checkbook is unlimited. One woman. Unlimited checkbook, just one feature. Who you got? One feature, and it's a woman. <laughs> 
and her checkbook is there. They got the checkbook in hand. It's your one feature for your album. It covers promo, videos, everything. Fucked his head up with that one. <laughs> you did, because part of me wants to say Beyonce, but I'm not thinking Beyonce because I want to work with Beyonce. I'm thinking Beyonce because if you get her on the track, everything shoots up. It skyrockets. Oh, yeah. But as far as like, I want to, because I want to work with Jay-Z. That's, we got the same birthday. So that's, oh, we yeah. don't know it yet, but that's my big twin. But as far as a woman, hmm. I know for me, it's got to be Alicia Keys off top. I mean, and I respect the crap out of that. I really do. Because she's a monster. And she, I feel like she's so slept on. I really do. Oh, man. After she dropped a uh, diary, that's a, a nut. How I said earlier, how she, us uh, should have retired at the confession. She should have retired at the uh, diary of Alicia Keys. That, that entire, I remember getting my hair cut. Barbershop full of men blasting. Um, it would be, it would be, it would be so simple. Oh, that song, what it is, ain't what it was. Oh, that's yeah, she was a monster for that. I'm telling you, I remember back when she first came out. Mm -hmm. I'll turn on BT, talk I to him. Yellow woman on TV with the bird. Like, Who is this woman? And she just killing it. Like, oh, let me say, every girl that next week, Alicia Keys braids. Every Thanks. girl I knew had them. And I went to school with a girl who kind of looked like her. Oh, she had them braids tight every week. They was like crisp. Trying to tell you, because she knew. Oh, she nigga. knew, brother. She knew they were gonna take off. She knew. Man, like she I think I'ma say, I'ma say Brandy. Ooh. I'ma say Brandy. Cause vocally, there's an I I'm sorry. I I love and I respect everybody's opinion, but in my eyes. There's not too many women touching Brandy, Brandy vocally. They're just not. They're not. I respect it. I know some people say Kiki Wyatt and Kiki is a monster. I'm not taking that from her. But Brand is something about her, man. Brandy is just. <sighs> I don't think she ever was the same as she got at that little situation she was in a few years ago. But you know what? I just think. I just think throughout, she just elevated vocally, man. Oh, yeah. Mentally, probably not. But, you know, I mean, everybody got they, they you know, their situations. Yeah. But vocally, oh, my goodness. I watched her Soul Train performance, and the way she did her two records or Say Something in Borderline. Child, trying to tell you. She faded out real fast. Like I think she she had I think she had like a couple more years left in the tank to crank out some money. She just she just never put out nothing else. Like man, you say Brandy. She I has some hits. Brandy, man. She has some hits now. Man. But I don't know. I just feel so, for some reason when you when you're a uh older singer or a classic more classic singer because i don't like old sound like you can't use it no more but when you're a more classic singer for some reason when you drop something it just don't do it once you get to a certain era like they like you said usher and alicia keys they they drop stuff later after confessions and it was like dude let me tell you something when he dropped 8701, because he said something dope about 8701. It was 8701, and two years later, he dropped Confessions. Then four years later, he put out Here I Stand. 
and he mm-hmm. could have kept that one where it was. Even the dream said that was Usher's worst album. I'm like, Man. here I stand. Yes, the dream said that was his worst album because it was more family Usher. He was singing about his wife, his kids, all that. The dream said it. Black, he said it. I was, I read the interview. I'm like, and I was hyped for the album. Like, then I'm like, he coming with the, like, where the turn up? Where the, where the, I ain't trying to, I ain't got no kids, us. I can't relate to this. You know music. what? No, he didn't say I ain't got no kids. I don't got time. Like, I'm like, I'm like, 18, 19 when that album came out. Like, Usher, this is prime college years. I need the fire. Man, I like to hear I stand, but I'm just a different kind of dude, man. I like that album. That life that you want to come in your life for a season and stay wild. That's my joint. Oh, that's my j- I love that album. But I mean it wasn't it wasn't touching confessions, but I, I did enjoy Here I Stand. I did enjoy that album. I liked uh the joint called um Appetite. That was a joint. Mm-hmm. Like it was like that was a good one. It was that was a dope one. Uh what's another one on there? Gently was fire. What's up? Gently. That was a good one. Gently was Moving fire. Was a good one. Loving the club also was a dope joint. Um, what's the other trading place? It was that was a good. You know what? That's how, that ain't not, that ain't the man anthem, but that's the anthem. Like yo, shit, you taking me out tonight? Hey, that's the, the one. That how that's, we talked about that one? Like yeah, that's that's. The man are you okay? You know, I, yeah, 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 yeah. He said, you gonna pick me up, poor my Damn shit. it. I'm like, damn it. I'm like, okay, I see what you're doing there, Playboy. You gonna climb on top and tell me shut up if I'm too loud today. Damn it. I'm like, oh, shit, like, bro, you, this joint is like, all right, Usher, I see you play, boy. You killing it. You heard what he said. You heard what he said. Damn it. You played it. You come. Your girl come on. You play. You got that mother playing in the background. You feel me? Immediately. Like, immediately. Damn it. <laughs> what he said. Y'all go outside. Yeah. Like, oh, you standing by the door. You feel me? Like, um, you dropping open, hints. <laughs> Hello. But no, ain't no girl doing that. It's 2021. Ain't no girl doing that. Uh, no, absolutely not. Ain't Everything no is, is make his pockets hurt and, you know, get a bag and, you know, make Birkin him pay bag. for everything. Let me tell you something. I saw what a Birkin bag looked like. I will take your ass to Ross so fast. Yeah. I ain't even going to hold it. I can't even spell Birkin. <laughs> you, you, can get a, you can get a Irkin. You can get one of them. I get you an Irkin bag. I ain't getting you no Birkin. Hey, nah, brother, nah. Hey, Kevin Hart say, see, I don't know what that word means, so I'm gonna take it as disrespect. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, because I, <laughs> at first I thought it was a Dooney and Burke, because my mom talks about those, but that's like no, a Birkin. That's something different. So I looked it up, and I'm like, this is like a ten thousand dollar bag, and it looks like this. Oh, nah, I'll get you a dresser before I get you a Birkin bag. Like, what is this? If you ain't got the cop, then what? How you gonna say? Bro, when you get a chance, look up a Birkin. You're gonna be mad as hell when you see what they look like. You're gonna be mad as hell. It's like when 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 some of us purchase, like, just, you seen them Gucci shoes with the rhinestones and stuff all on them? Look like a unicorn threw up on them? Like, it, that's what they look like. But because of the price, it's like a like a like a thousand dollar shoe, literally. Hell no, nah. like, and I don't get how some people just hell no, nah. I ain't that kind of I ain't that kind of nigga. I shot you, bro. Too. I talk to them, talk <laughs> to them. Yeah. I at H and M. I get my white t shirts from Walmart, and I call it a day. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, Wally World. I'm trying to tell you, I'm not. I'm not. I don't think I'll ever really be the super flashy guy, you know, like, I mean, unfortunately, Baby Blue from uh, Pretty Ricky, they ran up on him and he he was being flashy and they shot him and he now he's in critical condition. I pray he pulled through, but that's part of the reason why I, I don't want to be the flashy guy. I'm on my J. Cole, T. 
tip heavy. <laughs> I've never been a fl- like my de- I'm not a flashy guy. Like I don't wear chains. Like I don't wear watches. I don't wear none of that stuff. You know, I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm not that guy. Like I'm not that dude. Uh, but um, that's the thing. I'm like, you never want to get ran up on. Cause like, nah. I'm telling you, man. Nah, I'm, I, I don't have. I'm not that kind of rapper. I don't have security on. <laughs> uh, look, bro. I see this chain. I wear this at church, and that's it. <laughs> Other than that. And church is literally in the car to the building, back to the car, back to the house. You don't wear that shoes. Mm-mm. I don't want nobody thinking I got anything. I don't got nothing for you. I feel you. You got an Apple Watch, you can have it. Anybody can get an Apple Watch. This ain't hard to purchase. You feel what I'm saying? Like them big old like rolly faces. I'm nah, nah, man. Once I get to that level of success. I'd be like Drake. I got. I wear every single chain only when I'm in the house. Not even when I'm in. Only when I'm in the house. Not going outside, flashy. No, absolutely not. Mm-mm. So, man, let's transition back into the music portion real quick. Um, yeah. Let's talk about Night Rider real quick. How did you okay. feel? I pitched you the song and told you the idea behind it, and where, how did you come up with your verse? Man, once again, and I'm, I'm gonna keep telling you, I was humble, man. I was honored because. You know, if anybody asks me to be on their project, it's it's an honor because you could ask anybody, you could get anybody. So the fact that I was, you know, asked, even if, you know, even if some people's like, oh, you know, such and such didn't answer. So I'm asking you. See, well, that's, you what thought about that's what I would not do. I felt like I will never be like, ah, I get this person doing that. The only way I do that is like, you don't want to do this. I got my partner to do it then. Shoot. Yeah. Like, if you like somebody being a dick, like, man, I'm charging this much. Like, Fuck it then. I get my partner to do it. He'll do a way better job than you. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, man. And I was, but I'm it, but it's still an honor because you still you could have had somebody else lined up. You feel what I'm saying? Like that's I even gonna say, yeah, that. in the beginning. I'm like, man, this nigga gonna say no, man. <laughs> nah, I, man. I'm I'm not that dude, bro. I'm not. Like, I'm just we at the end of the day, we all trying to make it. Right, absolutely. You feel me? At the end of the day, all of us are trying to, we want our talent to make room for us. We want our gifts to make room for us. We want to be able to eat off of what we're doing. We want to be able to move and and purchase, you know, and live comfortably. You know, I'm not tripping on being a millionaire. Like if that's, if that's God's plan, amen. But I just want financial stability. That's it. Talk to him. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to be one of the richest men in the world. I just want to be able to take care of me and mine and me and mine's after me and mine's. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 it. Just want to put my people. I'm on my Rick Ross. Rick Ross is a genius because he owns so much. And instead of giving handouts, he puts people in different places so they make their own money. Oh, y'all eat the y'all eat the same. Yep. Like I could give you 10 G's, but I could also show you how to get 10 G's and triple your 10 G's so you'll never have to need 10 G's. Talk to them. Telling you, man. Yeah. But um they don't hear you, bro. They they don't, but it's okay. <laughs> but no, nah, man, I was I was I was honored, man. And you know, um, I think that the project came out amazing. Um, you know, listen to your verse, I listened to what you were saying, and I was like, Yeah, I gotta, I gotta dig into myself to 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 really put this out you know and so even down to the chorus i was going i was going to leave it and just put my my harmonies under it but then he was like no nah, man i but, but see <laughs> for uh, the rb cat i'm like for somebody who can sing like yo you left there to put your homie on my joint like i didn't think <laughs> i sounded that great like is he hearing me <laughs> am i tripping not as he hearing me <laughs> like i'm like I right, don't don't gas a nigga up, man. I do a whole goddamn on me out when you put you there. <laughs> don't do this, dude. Like, do the, like he's like, you sure? Like you sound fine. Like, nigga, do the damn one. Don't do this to man. me. I'm t- but it, I think because because of the feeling that you gave and because of like the raspiness in your voice, I just felt like it just fit. I was like, I just put some harmonies under him. We we chilling. Man, I appreciate that, man. I didn't think he was gonna do that. Like I said, man, like, oh, you didn't 
do the hook. Like he said, either you want me to do the hook? I said, yeah, I mean, if you don't mind, like I want you to do the hook, man. I didn't think I sound that great, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> it but it because I look at everything music wise from because one one of the things I had always been taught was character in a song. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And because I have, I don't, I don't think I have a painful voice in the sense of like if I had to sing a song about like pain or like, you know, like a like a like a Selma, like the, the fact that John John Legend did that Selma song, yeah, there's nobody else that really could have did it because he has he has a voice that can take you there. You feel me? And I just I just think for that song, I don't think my voice would have took it there the way it should have been took there. That's why I was like, I just put harmonies under yours. Right on. I think you did amazing. Cause that's the cause that's the mood I wanted to um because I got the looking back at the album now that um I have it structured a certain way. And like mm-hmm. I told a buddy of mine, like I'm gonna add probably add some more song, but I have to end it with Night Rider because that's just like something like I like to layer projects a certain way. I like to take you to a certain place, build you, then just drop or drop first and it's like it's just something where I like to layer it, so people can mm-hmm. like, you can be oh he's turning up then hit you with the, oh damn now we mm-hmm. coach, this is it I like the end. I want to be like the end credits because I got to set up a certain way and like I don't think my voice would have took people to that place I wanted them to take it to like your voice did yeah and I appreciate that man I really do because I mean and I've never you just you sparked the idea in me too because I've never thought of building an album you know. I've thought of the story, but I've never thought of like an end credit. Like that's crazy. Yeah, because, like, that's that's crazy. Because I always like I think of like my other album, Hero, that drop I put out. It's like I got it layered a certain way because I got three features on it. No, four. No, we got about three or four features on there, and I got my features spread out. I got my solos and my my everything is layered a certain way, and it ends with this joint I got called Daydream with my with the with a gentleman named Weston. Like he did the same thing you did. I left the hook on there. He left me on there. Like man, he was the first. Like I want you to see the hook. Like I'm like he said. Like, I think you sounded great. Like man, okay. Like I'm telling y'all, man, don't do this to me. I oh want my go R and B album. Don't try me, Juke. I'm telling you. I know one thing. If you drop an album and I hear one shoe up, I'm cutting it off. <laughs> I'm gonna be mad as hell. <laughs> oh Jesus. No joke. Like honestly and truly, I think that is something you should explore, bro. Like for real. You should definitely explore that. I might, man. I might. I joke about it. I might do it. I mean, I might do it, but yeah, man, like I layer my music a certain way because I want people to feel a certain way in certain points of the, uh, in certain points of my project because once I I give you all the dope stuff then I get real serious, then I get either real serious, real gritty, like really talk that talk, <laughs> talk, mm-hmm. like, oh snap, he switched it up on, he does got that grit on him, then I go to this, boom, Night Rider, oh snap, he telling a story because this project I'm I got it like all story till I'm painting the picture. And now mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, cool. I see where he's going with that one. But your verse mm-hmm. is dope. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it, man. Seriously. I try to keep up with you, honestly. Man. After you see honest with verse, you. Man, I appreciate it, man. Like that's honorable right there. Like, man, I ain't even I ain't even look at it like. <laughs> I think it's like, I don't man, think it's like you did the thing, man. I just didn't want to do the song uh, injustice, man. Cause I, I'm telling you, the way the way I heard the song at, at from from your verses to the chorus, I was like, dog, I cannot, I can't get on here playing. This ain't one of them songs. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> like, and I was like, let me just let me just be me. Let me just tell them about me. And that's where it came from. Yeah, because I came in with some heat, like close my eyes and think about all those things that I said that I wanted to do. And like, come on. It's like, and then again, I put it, I say that, I said that, but in the beginning, because like, you know, as a kid, you think about like, could I do all this? And like, mm-hmm. the dreams come true, like, nah, they don't. That's why, you know what I'm saying? I pray for the best, you know? 
And that's all I, that's all we do as a man of faith, you know. I, you know, like, I know God got a plan, so I'm not going, mm -hmm. what's the word? Why should I wish if I can just pray about it, you know what I mean? So Come on, talk to him. They don't want to hear that. Talk to him. And like I said, I turn on the news, ain't nothing good about it. That's when I take that night. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, uh, like, it's so much going on. Like, yo, it's when it's hard enough being a black man in America. Why I got to turn on the news? I already know it's on it. But then when you came with your verse, like, yo, this dude killing it. I'm like, this man. Dude. Like, I literally could visualize everything you were saying in that verse. Like, yo, I'm like, I didn't know he was from Compton. I didn't even know. <laughs> I knew it from. I didn't know what part you was from. Like I, I boxed everybody from LA. From LA, I, I oh know. man, <laughs> I know about Long Beach and Compton and all the other Victorville and um, what's the other part? Um, oh shit, Bakersville. I know about all that. I ain't oh, know. Man, <laughs> he's from Compton. Oh, that, then I got scared. Like he's from Compton. Oh my gosh, he's okay. Oh man. Well, you know what? I um I grew up in Compton, but we we relocated to Anaheim. So now I'm I'm in between Disneyland and Knott's Berry Farm. So I'm I'm way I'm in a way better area than I was before. Way better area. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I knew Compton was crazy when I got banged on outside of my house. They was like, Where you from? I just pointed right here. Like I don't even know why you're <laughs> right here. This is where I'm from. Like, what do you what do you mean? Like bullshit, I ain't never seen you before. Like, you know what? I don't need a pass. The me I be in the house. Like I just I've been around the hood and the street dudes. I just was never a hood or street dude. You you have to be, you gotta be built a certain way. You feel what I'm saying? Like you definitely have to be built for that type of lifestyle. And thank God I just it just has never been me. You know, I've always been the entertainer guy I've always I used to go to uh, Cabrillo High School in Long Beach and that's how that's what saved me right. like all the Crips would be like oh that's dancer cut that's singer cut yeah right. you know what I'm saying like it, that's what saved me you know that's I just I just never that guy go ahead bro I'm sorry that's good well, I guess that, that's the same with me like I'm I was like a, in Dallas it would like I would I grew up in on the north side, good side of town, good side of town. I ain't gonna flex, it ain't bad over here. But mm -hmm. I always the guy who I knew the gang bang, I knew the gang. Like, yo, stay over there, John. Nope. What about to do? But what are about to do? You, we about to go do some ignorant stuff. You stay your ass over there because your mama ain't gonna. I'm kill trying you. to tell you. Okay. They like, we know who your mom is. We ain't gonna die today. <laughs> your mama's nuts. We rather get. Man, y'all never let me hold the pistol. Man. <laughs> y'all never let me smell the hold the weed. Let me just hold the bag. <laughs> let me just hold the bag. <laughs> hold the bag. Give me here. scary ass over the All right, man. Damn, y'all never let me do nothing. I'm telling you, bro. But that that be that be God, man. He really be having he be having plans for people, man. When you follow, see really be having plans. They let me know that you are people really respect you. If them do like now, nah, that single cuz that single dude, leave him alone. Don't mess with him. I'm, he cool. Man, I remember. I remember there was I was acting like I was gonna fight somebody. I was being funny. Oh, damn. Bro. Then in well did it. I BS you not. <laughs> if I would have really tried to fight him because I started walking and they just saw my demeanor. Like they just, and the homegirl ran up, what happened? What's wrong? I was like, man, this nigga Derek, I'm about to go fire on the home. 15 people behind me out of nowhere to see where Derek was. Damn. And I walked up, what up, bro? They said, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but it lit, it was like 15 people, bro. Like, and I mean everything. Like they used to have the the Mexicans versus um the black people or like the blacks and the Samoans versus the Mexicans. Like it, it used to get crazy, but they just I was never it, it never it, it didn't matter. I remember two two guys walked up on me and my brother who was walking home. And I saw him walking down the street and they saw us, which was funny because we had just came from uh, 
the church Ches Tadas, the church he used to go to, his pastor had a um a clothing store down the street from the school. So we used to go in there all the time. You know, we walked in, we saw like Chez, Lil B Dash, B Dash, Daisy. We used to see them like all the time. And so um they uh they saw us walking down the street. They were going across the street. So they went in the neighborhood and we had to pass that street to get home. God damn. And when we hit the corner, they had their shirts over their face. Ah, oh, damn. And they pulled their guns out. And me and my brother ran. I'll never forget it, man. But that the day after, they found they had stole my brother's phone. The day after they found out who stole the phone and they got beat up. Like it, I'm, I'm telling you, bro, like when you when you are your true self, like if you don't pretend to be. People pay attention to that. They really do. Facts. They I really knew, pay attention to that. I knew a cat who used to, he uh, told me, yo, he said, this dude, Tony, this dude, Junior right here, that dude, he been the same way since high school, like, because he had graduated, and I didn't know he was one of my uh, friend's brother. He was like, yo, man, this dude here, he used to come up to everybody on the step team and just start talking to him. He got, dude, gifted gab is all, he got it all. Like he just can be cool with anybody. Just get, mm-hmm. like, get cool with anybody. Like I'm just like, if I see you and I see with a group of people, I'm like, how you doing? What up? How y'all guys doing? Everybody doing good? I speak to everybody. I don't look at everybody. Just like, um, I feel like disrespectful. Like, bro, like, who you man here? Like, why you ain't speak? You know what I mean? Like, I don't want, mm-hmm. I don't like being rude. I just like, I respect everybody. Like, until if you disrespect me, it's a different thing. Like, yo, mm-hmm. how y'all guys doing? Y'all doing good? What's up? And then I continue talking to you. Like, what's going on? You want to yada yada yada? But so that's how I always been. People like people can vouch for me. Like, yo, Tony, he ain't that dude. He he don't do that street stuff. That's part. I'm telling man. you, man. I ain't nowhere near. I'm scary as hell. Hell no. My mama you know right. I'm trying to tell you, and it, it it go a long way. Like I had just recently got pulled over by the cops. This man, first of all, couldn't tell me why he pulled me over. That's let's just start there. He took my ID. I guess he just read because I'm like, you ain't gonna find. I don't have nothing. Right. Ain't nothing in my car. Nothing. No. I, nothing is on my background because I don't have one. So you do what you got to do, bro. And so enough, he looked at every. He he ain't go. He I don't even know if he ran my plates. All I could tell you, I think, matter of fact, he probably ran my place because he said, is this your car? I was like, yeah, how long have you had it? I was like, well, about two, three years now. Well, okay, you got a valid license? Uh, yeah, sure do. Can you? Uh, can I see it? I was like, it's in my wallet, in my lap. Can I reach for it? He was like, yep, you good. Got it, boom. Handed it to him. He just looked at it, handed it back to me and said, okay, slow down for me. Trip part is, I'm on the other side of the street. He's oncoming traffic. He shined that bright ass flashlight they got on the side of their car. Yeah. Toward my car. Then he U-turned. That's how I knew he was about to pull me over. So I was like, how do you know I was driving fast? You weren't even behind me. Mm-hmm. And the light had just turned green. So it's not as if I took off. Man. I'm telling I'm you, bro. Hit it with the plot twist. Reggie, you missing Johnson, boy, ain't you? I'm in school with your grandma. Boy, get up out of here. I'm telling you, bro, that would have been everything. That's only in the south. Oh, only in the south. That's only that's only in the south. That shit happened like that. Man, yeah, man, y'all got y'all got y'all. I've been to the south one time for a crump event. Greatest experience I ever had in my life. I'm just mad that they took us to get Mexican food and not no damn barbecue or no soap. I was so angry. I was so angry. See, I love Texas, but y'all, y'all Mexican food is trash. Hey man, I was matter of fact, I got a bone to pick with your ass. Don't uh, ever disrespect my water burger, bro. This what you mean, so bastard? When I said in and out <laughs> trash, he got defensive. This nigga got defensive. Something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> the reason, the reason why I don't think water burger is fire. Is because Whataburger is a chain for you guys, but it's like a mom and pop shop for us. Like ten, for us, Whataburger would be considered like a Tams or like a, a Tom's Junior. A Tom? In and out is just yeah. In and out is just different. Is that a Tom too? We, we got car, we got 
we got cars and we got time. But see, times is like it's like a hamburger stand. Right. It's like a little little mom and pop joint. Cause y'all they'll have what is it? Har- y'all have Carl Jr. or Harley's? Is it Harley's? We don't have none of that. We got they was like I had Carl's Jr. for the first time about nine, ten, and eleven. They had built one, but they shut it down. That's the only one oh, I man. knew in my city. And I had a teriyaki turkey burger. Drank a pineapple on that bitch was so good. Like, this, <laughs> this, <laughs> this turkey burger with this pineapple, man, let me tell you something. This was, woo! Oh, man. See, when, when you come to Cali, we're going to go on a food tour. I'm a, I'm a, you got to have in and out the right way. I don't know if you had it the right way, bro. See, I remember I went to in and out years. I'm talking about when I was in elementary school, we went, cause we went to Vegas cause my cousin had got married. And I mm-hmm. had it the first time. It was straight, but as I got, when they built one and built one and they got a few in Dallas. I'm like, eh, that's all right. Only thing that pissed me off, y'all put bacon on y'all burgers. If y'all had bacon, it'd be a different story. They know, I give y'all a shot. See? That's why you gotta you gotta come out here and go to Tams. I'm telling you, bro. You you have one of them. You you gotta have what I like to call a go head burger. A go. We need one of them. What is a go head burger? (laughs) Don't make me laugh. You ever when you pull up to In and Out or like Chick Fil A, you pull up. They're like, hey, welcome to In and Out. Welcome to Chick Fil A. Oh my God, how can I help you? They're just super nice. You know, oh, let me get a number one. Okay, number one. Would you like something to drink with that? Yes, I would like something to drink. Can you get me? Oh, you want ice? Yeah, would you like fries? They're just super nice. Oh, I think I know where it's about to go. I, you, absolutely. You go to them hood joints, pull up, go ahead. Damn. <laughs> Can I have a number three? Is that all? Don't ask you what you want to drink. The, nothing. Oh, we, got here. It's called, we got some of them. We got a place called Williams Chicken out here. It's, it's one of them joints. Williams? Oh, yeah. See, that's where I want to go. I want one of them. That's William Chicken, and you go to the South Side. I, I like it's like this. I don't go to South Side. I gotta have a reason mm-hmm. to go over there. Like mm-hmm. I got partners. Like what you going? I call. I got a brother. His birthday the same. The next my birthday June sixteenth. His birthday June seventeenth. Mm-hmm. I joke with him. Like, I'm going to the South Side. What you going over there for? Cause he a real gang banger. Like, what you going over there for? I'm I'm, I'm going to. I'm about to. Uh, you know, all right, don't be doing that stupid over there. Like, you don't belong over there. You, I'm gonna get some food. All right, be careful. I'm telling you, bro. So they got some good food over there. They got a place called Rudy's over there. Mm-hmm. They got some hood spots. They got some pretty good hood spots. That dude said, go ahead, Burger. That's it, bro. When you pull up to the window, go ahead. Not how can I help you. Go ahead. That's all you're going to hear. Damn. Food be fire, service be trash than a mug, boy. I mean, we garbage. Got, I'm gonna tell you, there's a spot where if you, like I said, come to Dallas when our COVID blow over, go to Deep Ellum. If you not have, if you have not heard my song featuring my boy Guy Sarah Tops on my album, My Random Life, we got a song called Deep Ellum. Everything we rap about in that song is true. Bet the food spots. We got a place called the Freemans, Cajun food, Po' Boys, Gumbo. We got another spot called Twisted Roots. Any kind of burger you want, they got. They got a burger called Freshman Five. It got a fried egg, French fries, cheddar cheese, baked fire. We got another spot called Serious Pizza. My God. They got, they pizza about the size of like, come out this wide. They come on a pizza dish. On the pizza tray. See what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Let me tell you. My New York homies get pissed. Like, ain't no pizza better than New York. Yeah, all right. This pizza. <laughs> I ain't never had no goddamn New York pizza. But this pizza right here, we got good food out here. But we got good taco spots down here. Now where we went, freaking Illa took us somewhere. I was showing on that tortilla for two days. I was like, look, bro. Don't ever do this to me again. I didn't. I don't. I don't go to the south and think about Mexican food. I I think of Mexican food out here. Our Mexican food. I mean, yeah, Texas. Texas got you. Got to know where to go for the taco spots. There's a there's some few. I don't know where y'all went, but there's a there's a there's some pretty good uh, taco spots out here. Like, the one bro, he took us to this place. Look like this this 
this kid was working there. He don't even look like he had a permit not old enough to work, and they had him working in there. Yeah, that's bad. Terrible. Yeah, that's bad. Tortilla was gum. I was so angry. I, but yeah, if you want to get some barbecue, like my opinion is a place called a Pecan Lodge in Deep Ellen. When I tell you, I'm judgmental. I'm a Texan. My family from Mississippi. When it's come to barbecue, I'm <laughs> judgmental. I'm like, all right, this place is going to be trash. My mom like, nah, let's try. I'm like, all right, cool. This is going to be some trash. I said, we splitting this food. I ain't paying for two meals. <laughs> if I don't like, I'm going to be mad. She said, all right, cool, whatever. I turn around. I kid you not. I'm looking for it. No, the line is behind me. Nobody behind me. I look for it. Turn back around. Line wrapped around the building. And I can smell the barbecue. Like, mm-hmm. All right, cool. Like, all right, whatever. I see all the grills and the smoke. All right, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. Jeez, I ordered the barbecue. I ordered the food. Let me tell you something. The best goddamn barbecue I've ever had in my life. It oh. literally tasted like it came out of somebody's backyard. And they, and this I knew was good at old black men. Back oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're not beating them. It's like, and, and I knew it said the, the dude came back trying to talk to my mom. Like, ma'am, I made that. I found that I made that barbecue this morning. Yeah, hey, I did all that. Then my mom like, oh really? Like this motherfucker. Now what? Joe. Somebody better get uh somebody gotta get uh get him. Somebody get uh get him. <laughs> and and uh, it's funny because it's funny because we joke about it all the time. But hey, that place got some good ass food. Like man, I ain't gonna take nobody body from LA to get no tacos. Y'all got tacos there. We gotta get the good stuff. I'm Don't telling you, bro. Nowhere where I can get the same stuff at home. I need to know what y'all go to food out here so I can have that. I need to know what y'all bragging about. I'm trying to tell you. Cali, Cali is more so, Cali is Mexican food, um, in and out, and probably like some, some weird like little joints. Like you come out here, you'll get like some crazy donuts. You feel what I'm saying? Like they got they got weird stuff like that. Yo, you a Cali guy. What's the joint with the big ass donut on the top of it? It depends on it depends on where you at. Cause what everybody sees in LA is uh Randy's and all yeah. the, the movies. Yeah, so is that place really that good or just all like a hype spot? Um, you know what? I don't know. I've never been to Randy's. I used to live by one. So but I I'm gonna tell you the best donut I ever had. Of course, everybody gonna say Krispy Kreme. Of That's course, everybody's gonna say uh, Krispy Kreme is fucking crack, man. I don't care what nobody say. It is Krispy Kreme, Duncan, Duncan, Duncan is fire because it's those thick donuts. But the I like if you get like a chocolate donut, it's it's perfectly layered, but it melts. It's not like like frosted. Man, see, I don't like Duncan. I go with Krispy Kreme, like I said, it's like. Especially when the light is on, oh, you about to die, man. You can forget it. OD on sugar, like this man, OD to the car, like box of this crispy box, crispy cream box around, like he OD. Trying to tell you, but it's a place out, it's in Huntington, unfortunately, but it's called uh, Donuttery. Right. It's like that. Bro, they have, that's the first time I ever had a, a croissant donut. I heard about those. Bro, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> See, the, 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 before we go any further, there's a current <laughs> theme on this podcast. It always tends to go to food with me and my okay. boy Altitude, uh, my boy Izzy. Now, you, it always seems to go to food. Some point in the show, it somewhere it goes to food. I don't know how it happens. That's where we at, bro. That's just what it is. Food is Tony Baker said the best. Food is life. It is, man. Food it is, is man. So, kicking it back to the music real quick. We okay. talked about Night Rider. What is one of your favorite songs that you've done as an artist? Oh man. Um that's that. Messes mine up on that one. 
Got him again. That, one, that got me, bro. Um, because I think I I love all of them that I've done, but as far as like a favorite. The boy stomped. It might be between everything It might be between anywhere which is on the new album because that that song I produced and I wrote so that was the arraigned that was like my little project like my that's like my baby so I'm gonna say between anywhere, rehearsal, and probably everything. All right. It's it's it got to be between those three. It has to be. Okay. I'm gonna mess with you again. Oh man. What's the yeah. toughest song you've written? Like the one that made you like, yo, this right here. Like when you finally got it done. Like yeah, this is the one. That's going to be between Headspace and it's another one I just wrote. It's called um, it's, kind of uh, it's called Back to Me. Okay. And it wasn't that it was difficult to write them. It, they were just personal. Right. They were just very, very personal. Like, I, I definitely believe in diving into myself but these were tracks that were literally on some like 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 the way confessions was for usher when it was like damn like this will happen right them two joints are the that's the this will happen for me those two yeah. and it's gonna be on this album coming up the headspace is on the ep that's out now on the inherited ep and then Back to me is going to be on the new album, and back to me is headspace is personal, but back to me is literally on some. This is a conversation I've actually had that I made into a song. Oh snap! Okay. Yeah, man, it's it's like that. It's crazy, bro. Man, I feel you, man. Like, so how has COVID? Stop affecting your creative process. I mean, I guess I now I see you got the home studio. I, I mm -hmm. saw that I was extremely happy for you because you told me, like, yo, my this engineer, he <laughs> yada yada. We ain't even talking about that. This dude, he, <laughs> no, he talked to me like, bro, this the, this guy, like, we need to get together, man. I ain't going in that studio, catch no goddamn go. Trying to tell you, man. Yeah. I seen him on Instagram. I see he showed the box. Oh snap! He got this. <laughs> I get happy, but my homegirl just got a home still. She been just finally got everything together, start recording. Like then I got mine. You got your. Like I get happy for all my fellow artists. Like because people do not understand that you save so much. It's an investment, but to save, like bro, I can do is record it and send it to my engineer. And just go, man. I tell you. So, how has COVID changed or affected you as an artist? You know, it it has just made me. It just it just made me remember what I'm capable of. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, as artists, we literally, especially writers, or like if you like write your own stuff or like produce your own stuff. Bro, you literally can create. It's like it's like a house that always got flour in it. Somebody like you, you can always bake something with some flour. Yeah. Damn, say it again. I'm telling you, bro. It's like always having flour in your house. This boy Joe dropping gems on this. <laughs> this yeah, I'm saying because yeah. I mean it's even though COVID, you know, unfortunately, if you don't know how to mix or anything, you got the ability to learn, even if it's just learning how to like lay it down but 
just knowing that everything you need is inside you. Like God literally gave you everything. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so like, it just, it just made me get sharper on being vulnerable with writing. Um, I started learning how to play chords, um, started making beats and everything, you know? So, I mean, it just, it just made me, it just made me want to really, really create. Right. And I can, I can agree with you on that. Maybe only thing I have not dabbled in is making beats. That's one thing my brain is not, I, <laughs> I haven't even learned how to mix and master yet. I'm still get, paying other people like, yo, can you mix and master this for me? Like, okay. I, I do not have the patience to sit down and I tried it and I got frustrated five minutes into it. Like, you know what? Fuck this. I want to do yeah. it. Like, I, I, like I said, I want to learn. Like, I really do want to learn, but like, Roger, YouTube is is too, like, I like to ask questions. I'm like, like, you know how to do it. So tell me what buttons are hitting, how to lay stuff. Because my boy taught me how to, um, I said, all right, I watch him. I used to go to his crib for cool, and I, this track, that track, this, this. Mm -hmm. Then back when you sent me your stuff, your stem, like, what a stem? I don't know the lingo. I, right. then I dropped everything to the little, oh, okay, now I see how to do mm -hmm. it. Homegirl taught me some stuff like, oh, just mute this, send that, mute this, send this, break it. Okay, now I'm learning all this. All right, cool. So now mm -hmm. I learn how to just mix and master. Once I learned that, I ain't, man, let me tell you. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm going to be shit cranking them out. What a dope thing is, even if you don't jump into like making beats or if you don't jump into like fully mixing and mastering stuff down, if you at least know, can't nobody ever get over on you. Ever. Exactly. And that's one thing I like. When I hear my I think it's just me when I hear my own voice, but I never sound like I feel, I feel like I never sound like mixed enough. Like, I'm like, you know, like that's the, dude, that's the, you're good. Like, are you sure? Like, I just hear something different when I hear myself. You got that's the like, ear, bro. I just can't, I'll never go back and listen to nothing. I, I cannot go back and listen to my music. I'll go back and listen just to, to hear the final mix of it. All right, cool. But like how people just drive this to their own. Like, how do you listen to your own stuff? Like, this is annoying. Like, I'm telling you, bro, you got the ear, man. That's it. That's how I start. It's like, I'll be hearing stuff like, turn my voice down a little more, turn that beat down. I'll be like, I'll be hearing like, man. I'm telling I, you, bro, you, you got it. That's how, that right there is how I start. Like, I will mess around and detox myself. An album will never get done if I got a mix <laughs> myself. Like, yo, when is that? It's never. It's like how they say Prince got music on top of music that he never released. Like, you got all this and you never re Videos. Music. They say he got full videos that he never released. That's from shot him, archived him. I'm telling you, bro, that man... So another one of my biggest inspirations. And of course, because I was born in 91, I had to dive in and, and rediscover Prince because, you know, I wasn't around in that era. Sure. I done heard some stories that made me go, excuse me, he did what? Prince. He's a genius. He's a genius. Man, I heard Jamie Foxx, they took the videos down. He got stories about Prince that are hilarious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he says, Prince I mean, he's to cool. House. Like, what do you? How do you say it? <laughs> he said, Prince invited. He Prince invited me to his house. Uninvited me. He said, Prince got the prettiest eyes, man. Like, you can't look him in the eye. Like, don't look him in the eyes. Like, I'm telling you, bro. I'm like, like the stories he got about Prince are hilarious. Like, the, and that's the music he has. Like, the unreleased stuff. Like, that's me. I would have so much stuff unreleased. If it was left up to me, like, just I just says this mix it because if I do it, you ain't never getting it, man. But that's what Prince Prince was a one stop shop. Like when you look at Prince's credit, his name is all over it. The only person that did something else was record him. Yep, it's like like that song. Um, you know that song. Um, if if I was your girlfriend, mm -mm. 
Would you be mad? Mm-mm. Yeah. Jimmy. So he's singing that normal. He's singing that if I was your girlfriend, mm-mm. would you remember? He's singing it like that. But he found out that if he put a weight on the recorder, it messes, it makes his voice higher. And that's how he recorded the song. Genius, bro. Genius. Freaking um. There was a sound he wanted in a song. I can't remember the song. But he put a a, a, a a amp in the tub and just played it till it blew out to get the sound he wanted. That's like that's crazy. And my thing is, I I'm a perfectionist, but I try to tame myself to the point like I don't want to be that artist where I just perfect it, perfect it, perfect it, perfect it, and it never comes out. Like, yo, I it's like oh. I got to put stuff out. Like, mm-hmm. it's like he got, like, he has so much stuff that we've never heard and probably never will hear. Yeah. Unless the 30th anniversary of Prince and they release it all. Yeah. But I think he, like, for real, they just live in the studio. No. You feel me? Like the Neps, they were saying, uh, I think it was Justin Timberlake, he tried to get Pharrell to go to a party or like an award show or something. He just wanted to be in the studio. Like those are people that they just love creating. Like that's why there was there's so many tracks that we'll probably you know never get to hear. Hopefully we can, but that's why. What was it? There was a, there's so much stuff you hear when you be watching these videos. There was a song that was for who was it for? Just it was a it was an in sync song that was gone, gone mm-hmm. with Michael Jackson, but he turned mm-hmm. it down. I'm like. Bruh. And then wanted to do it after it came out. Oh, could you imagine Michael? Sam, Think about no, you, that. You want to really trip? Joe, what? Pr- pretty much, I'm going to give you two crazy facts I just found out. Literally almost the whole Justified album was pitched to Michael Jackson. And when you listen to Rock Your Body, Michael would have murked that one specifically. Imagine Mike, don't be so quick to walk away. Oh, dance me, I want to rock your body. Dance, dance, dance. Bro. The Super Bowl would have looked the real different if he was performing that song. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I and see that then, up your head. I see that joke. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. It would have. <laughs> Michael ain't grabbing no titties. I tell you that now. <laughs> Not his sisters. Oh, no. That would have been a different Super Bowl right there. Trying to tell you. But then, fronting was for Prince. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for real. I seen that interview. Yeah, that was for, that was for Prince. And then he turned it down. And it makes sense because that was him imitating Prince. That's why he's singing it like that. That is... Bro, I seen the interview that was on the uh, Nori podcast. Crazy! Imagine Jupiter writing a song and pitching it to Beyonce. And yeah, that song was originally for Beyonce, but she turned it down. And then she's like, "Then she calls like she literally calls your phone, say she wish she would have did it." You wake up in the middle of the night, she tells, she cussing you. Like, I wish I would have got that goddamn song. I'd be like, "Well, let's make another one." Immediately. It's like, that's like unheard of. Like, what? Man. Just the story, the backstory, the some song that you hear, like, that was for who? How did they? Mm-hmm. And that's like, when you hear stories like that before we go, it's like, it's unheard of. Like, what? Because Slave, that was for Janet. That wasn't for Britney. You lying. Now, I've never heard that. That boom, mm, slave. Mm, mm, for you. That was for Janet Jackson. Good God. Yep. Umbrella, Umbrella was for Britney Spears. Slave was for Janet. And there's another song. It was a song that was pitched to Katy Perry, but she never got the email. So they gave it to somebody else. I can't remember what song it was. But bro, it, 
they it's some crazy ones out there, man, that make you go. So it could have been y'all. Oh man. Then it was like when Jay Holiday said when during the uh, bail was for Chris Brown, but he turned it down. I'm glad he did though. It's, gosh, damn. That's that's one I could say I can't really see Chris Brown doing. Yeah, now that you say that, yeah, I can. I can. Now that you say, like, man, just the song that get turned down, like ah man, I wish I would have did that one. But then when you go back and hear reference tracks, like when I heard the reference track to um, that girl from Marcus, he was like, that's, you hear the, the, that one, but he kept his background vocals. Now her mm-hmm. name, okay. Then years later, I heard Usher's version of Somebody to Love for Justin Bieber. Mm-hmm. I'm like, was that the reference track or was that Usher oh. singing it? But because if that was a reference track, he sung that like it was his. Man, like, I heard I heard Neo's version to Irreplaceable. Uh-uh. Let's just be by Miguel. Yeah. We can watch a D V D, baby. Sit up in the house and be just be there. Bro. I was like, hey man. I don't even know who wrote it at this point, because both of y'all sound crazy on it. That's the thing about a song, right? Like, it, like I say, my boy Jube already said I got the actual experiment with the singing part, so I may do that now. But trying to tell you, I mean, imagine if you write a hit song and you a songwriter, somebody like, let's say Division, we're gonna use him for example. Okay, the song you write is so good, you're like, mm, I'm gonna keep this to myself, but the bag is so good. Like, but then you hear your reference track back, like, I sound so good, I sound so good. <laughs> but I know this motherfucker go kill it though. It's like that's the that's a torturous part of a songwriter for me. Cause I've written a few RB songs. I got that pen on RB. I got some fire. Talk to him. Talk to him. But it's like, I'm not a great singer, but I know I couldn't do it no justice. But if I, I could see, even though I can't, I'm not that good, but if I work on it, I know I could be, but it's like saying, I can see why a songwriter like, yo, I may want to keep this. <laughs> I can see why. I can see why, but like, you know the outcome. Like, yo, this is Beyonce. This is this mm-hmm. person. Like, they gone. The royalty is going to be ridiculous. The streams are going to be ridiculous. My God. It's going to be coming in. Talk to them. But then I'm going to really mess you up. Say you got a Beyonce joint, a Weekend joint, a division. You got five, four songs in the top five on the billboard. Mm-hmm. Checks just coming in left and right. Talk to them. That's the fun part about art being a songwriter. You got checks coming in. Every and don't let that I mean, pot money Nike. Don't let that pot money come in. Tell you better just do it, Nike. Yes. They like um Jupiter. We need you to write a song for this new a pop. Ch- he's he's sixteen. He need a new album. We want you to do his whole album, and the album go good, double, triple, quadruple, platinum. Ha! I'm rich. I'm a I'm a I got a story of my own. I wasn't gonna do it, but we here. I'm gonna do it. You sure you want to do it? You don't want to. That's how we're going to end it. That's how we're ending it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Ah, oh, shit. And I'm going I'm to send you the reference track, too. I think I still have it. The joint on the Inherited album. Right. The Can't Stop Loving You. Right. That was for John Legend. Originally, that was for John Legend. I'm not going to hold you. All the stars didn't line up the way they were supposed to. He didn't want it or whatever the case. I don't, I don't know if he said no or turned. I don't know what happened. But I kept it, put it on the album. Oh my. John- I'm gonna send you, I'm gonna send you the reference track and everything. I promise you. Oh my God. I believe you. <laughs> Lord. You dog. This dude would have been sitting. What they like to say, pretty. If you want to talk to him. <laughs> and I know my man ain't blowing smoke because I know he's solid. 
Man, I'm telling you. I'm going to send when you hear the reference track, because when I first got the call, they was like, yeah, man, we know his manager. He looking for songs for his album. Like, can you write some? I'm like, nigga, John, I'm listening to John Legend since eighth grade. Absolutely. Man. So I got on the track and I was listening to a, it was another song and I was, I was hitting on my, I was in the car. I was just hitting my, uh, my armrest. And I was like, oh, shoot, this will be, cra- this will be crazy. So I went to the studio the next day, did the beat, and they had somebody playing the guitar. And I was like, oh, this is about to, this spot the, and I, I'm not going to hold you. I was like, John, go hear this. He going to want it. And I got in the booth. How about us? Like, I'm imitating him and everything. And it had got to the point where when the manager got it, he was like, whoever's singing this has John Legend down to a T, like ad libs and everything. I was like, bro, like, I really listened to this man. man. Don't know what happened, but didn't go through. So I kept it, put it on the album. That dude, John, I mean, you sound more like more to me than I do. Because oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, man. <sighs> How y'all yeah, I'm, life altering that would have been for you if he would have took that song? Man, if he would have took that song, I probably wouldn't have had a Jupiter verse. I probably couldn't afford a Jupiter verse. Yeah. Oh, nah, bro. I mean, it's I I would have been like Michael Jackson. The way you know that song um by SWV that love will be right here. Yeah. Be right here. He didn't charge them for that sample. He just let them use it. Yeah, they said um what's the girl named Lee Singers? Yeah, she said that in an interview. It was mm-hmm. uh, um Ask her with Kev on stage. She's mm-hmm. like, Mike didn't charge for that. He ain't charged. That's like they say Drake charged a million for a verse. But she, but there's people that are strictly bag, and then there are people that love the art. You know what I'm saying? Like Prince, Michael, those are they love the art form. That's what it's about. Imagine this. Just imagine one night you in the studio and Prince walks by. You like, excuse me, Prince. He turns around with that Prince there like, yes. You mind if I can, I, I hate to ask, but my mama always said ask. Can I get a, can I get a, a verse or some guitar or something? Sure. Then he get done, you're like, hey, y'all mind out this verse, but you count, you looking at your bank, I can't afford this in the car's label. Like, oh, how much watch is it on the house? Oh. I cry. I would <laughs> cry. I, I promise you, I would burst into tears. I promise you I would. I'll be like, yo, that'd be like, that's what anybody for me. If I can get like a Wale verse or a Drake verse or anybody verse, like, yo, can I get a, I may can't afford it, but I'm like, oh, I got you. I'm in, a, I'm in a good, I'm in a given mood. Hey, with a Drake verse, you you good. Like, you know the stream's going to be fine. Man, I will burst into tears. But I I mean, I I think Drake, I think it, it you, it's, I think it depends on the person. I think there's some people that some artists, you know, if they believe in you, they're like, yeah, do your thing, bro. That's how, that's how I always want to be. Like, I know that's why I started doing what I do now because looking at it from the outside, looking in, I've been the guy as a kid, 17, 18 years old, trying to get in the clubs and trying to do shows. Now, let me tell you, I had, me and my crew had no music. We mm-hmm. was just going to, freaking wing it like we gonna figure it out when we get there we just gonna do something mm-hmm. and i always said like it's so hard to get into these doors these gatekeepers that won't you gotta know this person like i said screw it let me build a platform myself and put people on it and then i hate the word put people along because that's not what i do like, i give opportunity because nobody gave me the opportunity i try but like i always want to I tell people, I always want to say, yo, when nobody gave me opportunity, that boy Junior always had a place open for me to go. I got friends right now. I said, I got a show, even for you, this offer's on the table, because this offer don't get passed around a lot. If you ever in doubt, I got a show, you in town, like, yo, can I do 15? Can I do three minutes? Can I get 10 minutes? How Who, who opening up the show? And I, I put that on the table for some of my friends. Like, they're like, for real? Like, yeah, you earned it. Like, you've been rocking for so long. Like, you earned that kind of 
treatment from like, yeah, if nobody's opening the show and I got a few minutes, I got a quick 15 to five, floor is yours. And, that's me. And that's how I operate. Like I want to get people, because I know it's hard to get, get, get gigs and you got to know people and jump through hoops and send emails and people don't respond back and you look in the void like, yo. So that's what I do. That's, and that's, that's, like I, like I said, I think, I don't know if I said it, I think we said it in the other one, but I'm on my Rick Ross. Like, you put people in positions to where they can make bread. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Like, I tell people all the time, my, my dream is not to blow up alone. My dream hey, is bro. to eat with my people. Talk to them, man. That is my, that, I'll know I'm successful when success is around me. That's how I know I'm successful. Yep. And that's how, that's how I feel. I agree with everything you said because I feel like I always tell people, jump. I, I don't want to come on by myself. Why? You know, I want all my Man. friends. I want everybody. It, it, either we all come up together or it's like a snowball effect. With I, you, two, God, whoever it is, everybody start popping off like fireworks. Boom, 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 boom. Talk to them. And it's like, and it's it's easy that way than somebody like, yo, man, you ain't put me on. Man, you weren't there. Mm-hmm. Like, y'all weren't there. Like, we worked hard to get to this spot. But before we get up out of here, man, I don't want to hold you up too much long. Anything you want to plug, any new albums, any new projects, singles, what you got, plug yourself, man. So y'all can follow me uh, on social media, just Planet Jupiter, but Jupiter is J-V is Victor, I-P-T-R-J-V. No lies, J-V-P-I-T-R, I'm sorry. J-V-P-I-T-R. Um, I got an album on the way now, about to drop the first single. Um, the single is going to be called, we have Reciprocity coming out, and then we have, um, what is the name of that other song? Goodness gracious. He, man, he got so much, you don't even know what he got. <laughs> man, I because it, it, all of the words jump in my head at once. Uh, but I just say that. We got a project on the way. We got singles on the way. Um, about to start recording the video and everything. So um, I took a little hiatus, just really honing in and building. But I think everybody's going to like the album on the way. So, yeah, be on the lookout. We're going to get it cracking. Right on, everybody. Thank y'all for tuning in. It's your boy, Junes88. Make sure you follow me on all social media platforms. Uh, Twitter, uh, just Junes80. Instagram, Junes88. And the merch line drops May 6th. So go ahead and head over to 88th Avenue on Instagram. Um, I'm gonna link all the stuff in the description. To make like follow my boy Jupe. He got some good stuff. Make sure y'all do that. And I will see y'all next week, bro. Appreciate you, dog. Thank you, bro.